that guy. Well, it's like Matt always says, play to your strengths. Oh, yeah, yeah no but doubt. you know, you got to take that payday. I mean, what did he make out of that fight? He it, probably made 10 million bucks. Or something. Something's different with that guy, man. Matt always says to play to your strengths, but you have to take that paycheck. I mean, how much money did he get from that fight? He probably made $10 million or more. Paul is a very intelligent man who gets guys who think he's bigger than him. The only time he faced another boxer, Tom Fury, he lost, but Tommy Fury had a good fight. Overall, how did you see Jake and Mike fight? You know you could tell something wasn't right with you because Tyson's leg was off, so he couldn't balance. Oh, that's crazy. I just spoke with his trainer, and he told me that exact thing. Joel Rogan expressed a mixture of shock and rage when discussing the shocking Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson boxing match, but he also praised Paul as a talented and hardworking boxer, emphasizing that he should not be undervalued despite his background or influence. He said, What other sport are we going to let a 58-year-old man compete other than golf? It's kind of crazy, but he's made for it, dude. He's perfectly capable of knocking him out, dude. Rogan was open about his concerns for Tyson, citing the physical challenges that come with being 58 years old, but he acknowledged Tyson's extraordinary power and unique abilities. He also questioned whether the boxing legend could keep pace with a younger active fighter like Paul. According to Rogan, Mike has layers upon layers of attacks in his head and has forgotten more about boxing than Jake, while Tyson's training tape appears promising. The only thing, Paul has ever remembered is how quickly it can happen because of how much gas a guy like that will have. He may have been excited when he said he wanted to do it, but how does he feel now that he has months and months of this on him? Does he dismiss it or does he wish he hadn't said yes? Regarding the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson contest, Amber Rose expressed her belief that Jake would prevail, citing his youth and power at 27 as opposed to Tyson's advanced age and deteriorating physical capabilities. Rose's remarks emphasized the two fighters' generational differences and implied that age was a deciding factor in the fight's result. Amber, what do you think about the fight? I had a gut feeling that Trump would prevail. What prompted you to inquire? He is 27 years old, and he's been putting in a lot of work. I recently witnessed his development as a boxer, and I was the only one sharing, but I simply sensed it myself. Who would you like to see him fight next, in your opinion? I'm not sure, but I'll smash your ass if we ever see you. You don't really like that aspect of him. I have a 41-year-old mother. Yes, that was impolite, but gosh, that was really hilarious. Did you witness the girl fight I had with Amanda and Katie? Yeah, Eddie Hearn admitted he could only watch the first round of the fight. He found it difficult to see Mike Tyson in this condition, noting that the legendary boxer was not himself. Hearn stressed Tyson's iconic status in the sport and said the fight didn't honor his legacy. And that's I just like, did you enjoy watching most of that fight the back like it? It was hard to watch, and but it was always going to be like that, but it doesn't have to be. They're not making this for me. Look how many people turned up. Look how many people tuned in so I can't knock it. It's just not for me. And there's no, that's not disrespectful. I love boxing. I don't want to see Mike Tyson stuck in quicksand like. And he showed unbelievable heart, by the way. No, one wants to see that into my the 30 seconds that you saw. I mean, I know Jack was there. They got pillows on. They got 14 ounces gloves on. You know what I mean? He come out like in a raging ball. But after that, he was gas butt. Mike's a legend, and he's, he showed a load of heart. But you just don't need to see it, man. You know, a lot of people just say, you know, I'm just here to just watch Mike tie. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I get it. I get it. But I, but maybe they haven't watched boxing for 35 years and love this. And I haven't even had a drink and, and love the sport more than anything, because that's what I do so for me. I didn't want to see it, and when I did see it, I didn't want to see it even more, but I get the casual fan wow him. Can he still do it as he still got it in him? Russell Morg said on Twitter that everyone soon realized they were looking at a box that was 58 years old. Another Twitter user, Jay Webb, posted, I believe I got the wrong link for Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. This sarcastic comment reflects the disappointment many fans felt as Tyson's performance didn't match the expectations set by his training videos and legendary status. 
Tyson's tweet highlighted the fact that, despite being a legend, he was far past his prime and couldn't deliver his best performance against Jake Paul. Clint Russell gave Jake Paul a lot of respect on Twitter, saying that he obviously didn't want to hurt Tyson and that the fight could have been avoided. It's terrible, but it was really lovely to have Mike there one last time. One final build up to Mike Tyson's bout, but what if he Russell's tweet emphasized Paul's methodical approach in the ring, avoiding a knockout out of respect for Tyson's legacy? You know, I love to see Mike doing what he loves, it's his passion, but I think Jake looked a little soft tonight. He doesn't look like a real boxer, a pro who's been training for the last 10 years, so you know he needs to come see me one day. So, did you expect him to knock out Mike Tyson tonight? I did, but I thought, you know, Mike's a little bit older. You know, he had a problem. You know, they had to postpone the first fight because he had like a stroke on a plane or something like that. I'm happy he's walking out of that ring and he's healthy tonight. So I'm happy everything went well and you know it was a spectacle. The show you want to fight was a hit with all of the fans. Jake Paul, yes, exactly. He has said a lot of about me in the past and I would love to see him prove it. That's what I've been preparing for the past few years. FBY Covington commended the fight's safe conclusion, stating that it was obvious this wasn't the ideal. Mike Tyson was pleased that Tyson was unharmed and emerged from the ring in good health. Covington expressed relief that there were no significant injuries at the event. What did I think? Well, I love watching Mike do what he loves. It's his passion. However, I think Jake didn't look like a real boxer tonight. A pro boxer has been training for the past 10 years, so you know he needs to come see me one day. Did you expect him to knock out Mike Tyson tonight? I did. I thought, you know Mike's a little bit older. You know he had a problem. You know they had to push back the first fight because you know he had, like a stroke on a plane or something. I was just afraid, but I'm glad he's healthy tonight, so I'm really happy that everything went well and I'm glad that everyone enjoyed the show. Jake Paul, yes, I would love to fight him. He has said a lot of about me in the past, and I would love to see him defend me. I've been studying boxing R exclusively for the past few years. The 31-year age disparity between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul suggested that the older fighter faced difficulties, but Dana White commended the bravery of Tyson's choice to fight at almost 60. Mike Tyson's return to boxing was revealed earlier this week. You previously stated that you didn't want him to fight again, and you attempted to dissuade him from doing so. Have you discussed this with him? He gets upset when I do this, but Mike 60 guy, I don't know what do you guys think about it, who gives or what I think, it's not my fight. Um, I love Mike Tyson, you know, personally, as friend, and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Um, I don't know, let's, let's see. What he can go in there and put together training camp and come in. And you know, I don't like to see guys fighting it a 31 age difference during that fight. Just, you know, you know, you guys know what I think of that stuff. That's it. Here, Brian harshly criticized the fight, stating it should never have been sanctioned. He described Tyson's appearance as concerning pointing out physical changes due to age. The rounds looked pretty good. And then by the end of the fight, it was clear this was a 58 year old. Man, and he looked like a 58-year-old man, and I have a lot of issues with this. I don't think this fight should have ever happened. I think it says a lot of bad things about the combat sports world and sets a really dangerous precedent going forward. We're going to talk about the whole fight clearance approval process, and then just physiologically, why he looked the way he did. There's a lot of just true anatomy and physiology changes that explain why Tyson look so bad and play a role in why this type of thing should not happen. So how did T?